I know some nights I say it's going to be a short video and then I still ramble on for 12 to 15 minutes, but tonight it will be short because I am annoyed watching feeds tonight with this stupid, terrible, overly complicated twist that seems to be going on in the game. Nothing like a good twist to kill entertainment momentum with this stupid fucking production. But it's so hard to follow them talking about it. First, we got the, the voting. Uh, the hundred dollars to the top three. The next three get seventy-five. The bottoms get fifty. As it stands, it seems like the top were Derek X, Derek F, and Brittany. So the casuals coming in strong for two of the jokers, but of course Ozzy gets left out. So you know, just to annoy me even more. Although I probably will talk some shit about Ozzy here in a while. So first of all, Kylan's convoluted himself. He nominated Claire and Derek F. And what seemed like he was trying to target Claire. And then he pulled up everybody today trying to ask them questions, really just trying to gain info from them for his own game, which Aza basically was the only one to not answer his questions, just to be her good petty self. I mean, this is good petty from her because everybody should be being vague with these fucking questions from Kylan. It's one, you know, of course, an HOH is going to gain information. But when you're going about it so fucking obvious all the time, it gets old. So big ups to Aza there. But I am tired of Aza trying to die on these emotional hills. She's been upset that Kylan kept picking her four times in the challenge. And then, I mean, she has a reason to be upset because she's catching Kylan telling her a bunch of different stories and acting like he's telling her the truth and being clear when he's not. So she has every reason to be upset, but she gets upset, and then she's upset for like two days or more, and it's just not great. But Oz is one of the only four people left in the game to not be nominated. So Oz is playing a really good game that nobody gives her credit for because everybody that watches this show is pretty fucking dumb. Oz has done good at making herself not a target, while having this really good social game and not even being put up as a pawn yet, although she could be this week, although but she tends to swarm out of it. But let's get to the stupid ass twist. So apparently, as I understand it, people had to pay money today to be included in this veto twist with the BB Bucks. And four people did Derek F. Claire, Kylan, Sarah Beth. So as I understand it, they have to place bets on one of the veto players. And if your bet is correct, then you get a second veto. But then, as they were talking about it, it seemed like you can use one veto to take someone off the block now, if you want. And if that happens, Kylan has to nominate someone else. And then the second veto holder can then take someone else off the block. I think it's just, it's a bit much. And then next week, it sounds like there could, if that, next week, it sounds like there's a random wheel or something and it could get somebody randomly put on the block, which is fucking, what is this? Fucking cheap ass fucking sequester bullshit right here get put on the block from a random will. And then if the this week, if see I'm struggling to fucking explain this because it's so convoluted. If everybody's the four players bets are incorrect this week, then that twist us also next week so there could be another bet on the veto to get a second veto next week and plus have a random will decide i mean clearly production wants a member of the cookout gone if not two members of the cookout gone over the next three weeks they're probably not going to get their wish this week but over the next two weeks they're really trying hard and it's the, the stuff that annoys me is though we had Big white alliances the last two seasons, and they put in weak ass twist to do nothing to break it up. But now we have the cookout, who's not even 
a big dominant alliance because they're already having a lot of infighting and they want to put in these overly complicated, shitty, fucking ridiculous twists where somebody could end up going home on pure bad luck. And then the last twist seems to be either some sort of secret HOH where you could put up your own nominations or a coup d'etat, basically. Uh, we'll talk about that more after Sunday's episode because right now, I really hate this twist. The, tw- the feeds aren't even good because everybody's just talking about their fucking BB bucks, either lying or telling the truth. Derek X is stupidly telling everybody he got 100 just to grow the target on his back. I mean, I really don't feel like talking about anything else because the twist just dominated the feeds and the twist and then the Kylan's just so obnoxious as it is because he's overthinking and being messy with his gameplay. Hannah and Oz had a conversation about how Kylan's been acting lately, how he's being selfish, how he was correcting Oz about, Oz was saying, we're talking in circles and Kylan's going, no, it's spirals. And it's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. I loved Hannah and Aza comparing Kylan to Brent, saying that Kylan is basically Brent with a better vocabulary. Not wrong, because Kylan could get pretty cocky in this power position. So I don't, Kylan doesn't have a target. He has to get through this convoluted twist first. I think his target is definitely Claire. He only wants to target Claire to weaken Tiffany, I think, because everybody else in the cookout wants somebody else out. Tiffany and Xavier. I uh, want Brittany out. Kylan seems to also be coming around to that because Hannah and everybody are saying that Brittany is the other one that got 100. People online speculating Hannah's lying that she got 75 when she really got 100 and she's trying to put it on Brittany. I hope that's true. Uh, but then Hannah, Oz, and Big D seemed to more towards Alyssa to go. Hannah even calling Kai out saying that Alyssa staying in the game only benefits Xavier and Kylan and more people in the cookout seem to want Alyssa gone than Claire or Brittany. And then just to make matters worse, we got Derek Frazier lying to Aza because Derek F volunteered with Kylan to go up as a pawn to help Kylan out so that they don't have to put up Aza. But then Derek F, I, I kind of understand why Derek F is lying to Aza about it, to just keep her thinking that, I, I actually, I don't follow up. Sorry, I don't follow it because it just makes more distrust with Kylan. I mean, maybe that's a good play by Derek F to put some more distrust in Kylan. Maybe deep down, Derek F actually wants Kylan targeted too within the cookout. But yeah, this twist sucks. It's way too convoluted. Uh, they're definitely trying really hard to fuck up with the cookout dynamic and get someone from the cookout out. But if it's going to be of random means, I can't respect it by the shitty fucking production. So all in all, I think it's going to be a long three weeks. I don't feel like updating every day with the stupid twist because it's so confusing and that's all they're talking about. And I'm sure that won't be every day what all they're talking about, but strong possibility. So yeah, last words, the twist sucks.